are taking over the streets. We work it. Work in the city exclusively on Streets 94. Fa- holidays, holidays, holiday season. Thank you, Streets 94. Five. That was the biggest damn countdown. Of course, man, we had to calm down the right way. I was the countdown. Easy. Yeah, sound good to me. <laughs> Streets 945. East is in the bed of eight town. Hey, As promised, I told you he was gonna be here. Yeah, I'm in the bed, honey. What up, bro? Got a million little girls outside, turned up, ah, going man. crazy. How you doing, bro? Good, bro? Ain't seen you in a minute, man. Oh, man, you been uh, hot, man. You ain't been. I ain't been hot. You can hear me every day. You can hear me every day. Yeah, I ain't been Hollywood. We just working hard, bro. I know. Congratulations, on, you know. Congratulations, man. Man, thank you so much, bro. I, I worked all the things off. You know, man, you know, holiday, man, host about me, they don't be believing me, you know? <laughs> They don't believe you. Don't believe it's just popping in the city play, man. You know what it is. Streets 945, East is in the building now. You have a big concert coming up, of course, on Saturday from 6 to 10. It's going to be absolutely crazy. What's it called? The ATC concert. ATK concert, I'm sorry. I the case. Me and my cousin, Doc Queen, um, we having a concert. We actually did it before, like, last May. Yeah. But this is like ATK Reloaded. This is the second one, so hopefully it's bigger and better, you know what I'm saying? That's Saturday, September 28th. And the address is 2800 Campbellton Road. Get your tickets. You can get your tickets on FreshYoungBoys.com, mm-hmm. FreshYoungBoys.com. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to leave a few tickets over here, too, so y'all can give away, man. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that for you. ATK is going to be on. Uh, 2 Cash, we got on there. We got Diego Lattimore coming through. So, yeah, y'all get y'all. It's going to be a great show, you know what I'm saying? We sell the tickets like crazy, so get your tickets for it sold up. All right, cool, man. So having all these young fans, I know they do some outrage, crazy things, you know, to get you guys' attention. Uh, what, what's the most craziest thing that's ever happened that you just, like, wow, did that just happen for real? I don't know, man. Sometimes they can be real violent, you know what I'm saying? Like, they pull your hair, I'm sure. Yeah, they pull my hair. They ain't pull one of your extensions up? Man, they can, they, they, <laughs> they can be real violent. Like, well, I think I had a show in Nashville like a month ago, man. Yeah. I came out on stage. As soon as I came out on stage, like, I swear, the girl snatched the mic out my hand. Like, I'm, like, rather snatched the mic out my hand and yeah. she pulled me by my hand. I'm telling the crowd. And I was, like, so mad, but I had to remember what it was saying. Yeah, you know, little temp credits, they strong, yeah, bro. Strong. I, monkey bars. I'm like, if you love me, why you want to hurt me? Uh, hey, man. It's, it's, it's aggressive love. Yeah, it's they, aggressive don't, love. they don't know how to express it. They like, want to punch you and kick you. I don't understand, bro. Now, why you call it lost profit? What is that? All right, the meaning behind the whole lost profit is basically, um, I mean, always known since I was young that I was a prophet and I had a message to spread to the world through my music. Uh-huh. Everybody who's following my music, even you, you know what I'm saying? You know, of that I've always had, you know, those personal songs, those deep songs. A lot of people can relate to. I don't just make club music or just radio records, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, that's why I've always felt like I was prophet. But, you know, growing up and trying to find myself, I'm young. I just turned 19 on Sunday, by the way. You know, I'm still trying to find myself, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I make mistakes, I go off in the wrong direction like we all do as young people. Mm-hmm. So basically I'm calling it lost profit, you know what I'm saying? Basically me growing up trying to find myself, but still at the end of the day knowing that I have a meaning, you know what I'm saying? That my music needs to be heard, so that's basically the meaning. And I want everybody to go check it out, man. It's like one of my best projects. I feel like there's not a lot of features on it. I just want to get a puberty. <laughs> There's not a lot of features on it, man. It's like, you know, it's just all me. I want people to just hear how good I can rap. And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm so, Lost Profit, September 26th. It actually got two days before the concert. Okay. So let's see how, fan, how, so how many fans in the front row are going to exactly. see hold it up. We're going to see how fast they can learn the music, man. Mm-hmm. Holidays, holidays, holiday season. Holidays.